Hi everyone, this is a uh, quick video here on a few uh, things uh, about the uh, transformer and being hit with uh, metal uh, objects and making uh, uh, activity, creating activity with uh, hits and I think I've found the cause of that and I will show it, uh, show you, there's my oscilloscope uh, hooked up and I'm going to take just this uh, small little uh, screwdriver that has a plastic insulative handle and here is metal and all I'll do is I will uh, go across the edge here of the laminations of the transformer and I'll, that's the action that I'm going to do, just that and you're going to look at the uh, waveform there and I'm going to go ahead there and do it and you can see that it makes a lot of activity and now I'll do the same same thing except I'm going to hold the insulation of the small screwdriver and go across like this the same thing and now have a look at the activity there is nothing so basically by holding the metal part I am transferring the static electricity in through uh, what is in my uh, body which is kind of like an antenna and it's now being transferred into the laminations uh, you know one after another here on the edge so you see that that creates activity but as soon as you insulate yourself through the insulator of the screwdriver then there is nothing so you might want to revise uh, your findings about that. <coughs> um, now there is activity in changing inductance and um, we're going to actually look at uh, using a compass here to uh, see if there is residual magnetism in the, you know, that's a big question about residual magnetism in here. And there I have a compass and I will show you here I have also a toroid now a toroid is a closed thing there should be no residual magnetism uh, basically because it's all closed up uh, as far as I'm concerned I don't know but it's, I'm just trying to see uh, make a comparison and if you look at the compass whenever I bring uh, the, you know that toroid around there the needle moves I think any metal objects you bring around a compass, there will be uh, some movement. So there's that transformer. I've got a gear here. This has not been exposed to magnets or anything. Uh, does the same thing. So as you see, you know, by bringing that close or further away, there's movement. So uh, let's now bring it down here and I'll place it right here in the center and as you see the needle is somewhat in uh, that direction there and now I'm going to go ahead and bring the cores. There is movement about the same as there was when we're moving the the steel there um, maybe a little bit more on this section here than the other one but it's nothing near to what you would get if you know you would have a magnet um, I had a little piece of magnet here I'll, I'll get it so right now I'm holding in my fingers here a really tiny little magnet and I'll bring it so there you can see that you know the needle gets very uh, aggressive there's a flip of the polarity so it really is aggressive uh, completely it's clear when there is a magnet present so uh, now let that stabilize itself and now if I move the cores there is there is not really anything uh, you know definitive about that other you know than that slight movement you see there which is about the same uh, movement if I bring this gear uh, by it and take it away so I don't know if you know that's conclusive 
anyways, thought I would uh, share that. And uh, I can't, you know, confirm anything. As far as I'm concerned, those cores are not really uh, magnetized. They're, they're, I think anything that is metal has some residual amount of magnetism in it. I don't think we could. But it's very clear that there's not, you know, there's not like a more magnet basically in there. So that's uh, all about this uh, particular update. Thanks. Bye.